Oh. Probably, probably. <laughs> That's a good thing. Keyshawn, does anything change for you uh, mentally or physically after the performance that you were able to put out there on Sunday? Um, nothing has changed for me mentally uh, besides keep working, um, keep going at uh, – Going at the pace I'm going at, get more comfortable out there, more opportunity, more time I get on the field, and then just understand I still got more work to do. You were just thrust into action so unexpectedly against the Saints. Uh, it didn't seem like you had your best game then. You know, what was the mentality and the attitude that you took the following week against the Cavs in Carolina? Uh, I say it started at, uh, with practice, just having that full week of preparation um, with the ones. Um, building confidence starting early in the week. And then Saturday, you able to let it loose and kind of play play the game, be yourself. So I guess everything just kind of works out on its own. How much did that build your confidence in Carolina? Being able to have such a big, meaningful moment, you seem to really get the ball rolling on offense. Um, it meant a lot to me, just um, just kind of a lot of things I've been through this past year or two. Um, it's been a slow start for me. But um, that coming out, that big play when we needed it, um, and then stepping up in a big role was a lot to, for the team and for myself. So um, now we just got to keep stacking the chips. Keyshawn, uh, a lot of people are wondering about Coach Hood. When you do this guy coaching our team, this week, a lot of fans are wondering that. What would you tell fans about Harold Goody? Coach Goody? Yeah. Uh, Goody, a good man. Um, kind of came in, um, really got the same structure as B.A., kind of keeping his foot going after what B.A. has uh, wanted from this team. And um, like he said, well, I over kind of kind of over his interview, he was saying coaches. I'm not a coach, but players team. So that's kind of what we is and um, players led. And then Goody just stepping up, letting us know what direction to go in. We just follow him. It looks like um, because you have your five offensive linemen still together and because you guys are successful running the ball like you were last week, that that Mm -hmm. As much as anything, with all these receivers out, that's something you can really hang your hats on, right? The, the right. physicality. The, but that something comes with that, right? You're you're physically Im imposing your will against another team. So that that must be good at this time of year, you know, whether you have bad weather, good weather, that you guys you feel like you can go out there and actually lean on some people, right? Um, being able to dominate up front with the uh, old lineman, that's key to any game. Uh, it starts up front, so. Them boys getting movement up front is make it easier for guys like me running the ball, right. easier for TB throwing the ball and getting the ball to receiver. So um, just start up front, that get the whole offense moving. I, know, uh, go ahead. I was just gonna say you also see you're not you're not disguising it, right? Three tight ends, you got Gronk and, and OJ were setting the edge for you. I mean, you're you're letting them know, hey, it's coming. Yeah, we trying to run the ball. Um, like you said, we were missing a couple of receivers, so. Uh, I feel like I guess we kind of leaning on the run more, but um, it all come together. Uh, run, run the ball, open up passing, and passing and help run the ball. So it works hand in hand. A couple weeks ago, Tom said that, that he, the short passing game, like with the running backs, did kind of improve. Um, do you feel like you're now kind of getting into a rhythm with him, where you guys are on more of the same wavelength? Because I know there is an adjustment anytime that happens. Anytime you take a guy like Leonard out, mm -hmm. getting so many of the touches. There is kind of an adjustment period when you become that next guy. Um, you have to get the chemistry down. Um, just, just me knowing how he like to throw his balls and him kind of knowing how I like to catch the balls. Um, you just gotta that just come over time. So it ain't something that could just pop up tomorrow. But practice, um, that's the only way. Prep preparation and getting prepared for Saturday. I mean, it's not Saturday, it's Sunday. How are you guys kind of working towards you know accelerating? Um, like I just said, practice. You know, I'm getting in his ear, um, letting him know I just want more catches at practice to get me right. Cause I feel like that's something that can help me. Just more game, more game kind of action. But that's about it. Um, hands are good. It's just more game action, kind of for me. When you're a younger player, you know, and you're talking to a guy that's played in the league for over 20 years, is it a little intimidating or hard at first to tell him the things that you need and that you need to be successful? I mean, kind of coming in, it it was. I played back a little bit. I sat back a little bit, but um, close my eyes don't get fed. So that's kind of what I live by. So um, if you want some work, go ask for it. So. So I asked BA on Monday what he, how he saw your future, your role down down the road, and he says he's gonna be. He's a lead dog. He's a 
number one running back. Did that help you to know that you're, you know, they have that much confidence in you today yeah. and tomorrow? Um, it helps a lot knowing um, from the top confidence, a lot of confidence in me, which makes it easier for me um, believing in myself. But it starts with me believing in myself. So um, that's kind of what it is. If I believe that I can do it, I can do it. That's how all it is. So whatever role that I'm kind of put in, I'm, I'm willing to play it. You talked about confidence and, and how the year started, that you didn't, you didn't like the way it started. Do you believe in yourself now? Do you have confidence in yourself now? What did it take to get that? Um, more mentally. Uh, it's more mental thing with me, kind of not overthinking. Um, actually going out there and slowing the game down. Uh, I feel like I used to move too fast, but now I'm more in a mental, more in a mental health. I'm more mentally healthy than I was last year. Uh, not overthinking as much, not thinking as much. Uh, I've kind of been dived into like reading this more, so I'm kind of relaxing my brain more. That's what I've been on. Can I ask a question too? Um, at one point in the game, I know Tyler was in motion. I don't know if you were on the field for this, but like Tyler was in motion, and Tom like literally stopped him. And you guys were in the red zone, I believe. And like Tom used it as a teaching moment in the middle of a game, um, because basically two guys weren't mm -hmm. set. Do you remember that? Yeah. How often does that happen with Tom? I mean, I can imagine it happens in practice, but you just don't see that often in games. Um, that's just something that we uh, practice on. Yeah, it just came about it on game day. We got two people moving, you just freeze them, so you won't get no flags. So that's kind of what that was. So it ain't something that just popped up. Kind of something that we practice if it does happen on in practice. So you ready for it on game day? How often does that happen in practice? And, and Not often. Why you that it's happened in a game? I, I just I've never really noticed or seen that before in a game. It don't happen often. Uh, I was on sidelines, so uh -huh. I was surprised to see it too. Cause I've usually just seen it at practice. I ain't never seen it in a game. But this really shows though, like his commitment to not only obviously you don't want penalties, nobody wants penalties, but also the commitment to. Making sure that the, the guys around him are growing, right? Mm -hmm. And like, that you guys are growing as a team. You know, down the road, especially when the basketball and postseason is here, you guys are there. Um, that, that those kinds of things don't come up in really critical situations. Right, especially like with the younger guys, um, expectations are, are very high. Um, we got to be able to step into them roles and execute. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very eye opening. Thank you. Thank you.